welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a project management web app dashboard which is created by using the google sheet and google web app script okay so in this dashboard we have added the two user roles the admin user role and the user role okay here is the user means your client okay now hope you can understand so i will show you all the features step by step so you can see here in this web app dashboard we can manage our client project work and in this uh, by using this project you will never miss out any client work on the time okay so first of all you can able to see here in the sidebar the dashboard option you can see here the dashboard with some charts and graphs you can see here the projects in the project sections you can able to see all the projects in new project you can add the new project in manage users you can add the users delete the users or update the users in the settings sections you can change your company name your default text your admin email for notifications so in this web app dashboard we have added the email notification so you can see here this is the email notification is sent to my client because i have added this particular project in our database and the client will get be notified that their project is added in our database now whenever you update in progress or on hold or any kind of action you will take on this particular project then also a email sent to that particular client okay i will show you all the features step by step so start from the dashboard so you can see here in the dashboard we have the total 21 projects because in our application in our database we have the 21 projects okay in the revenue section you can see here multiple currencies in the paid sections you can also see multiple currencies so what does this multiple currencies means okay now on the first preference preference is the usdt okay now you can see here the total revenue generated from usd is this and in this particular currency is this in this particular currency is this now you can able to see here the total paid amount means this is the total amount and this is the amount i have received and now the remaining amount is this so you can see here depending amount okay now here is the two day projects i will explain you this later uh, the 12 pro uh, uh, projects is in progress means 12 projects are under working and six projects are completed so total 21 and 6 are completed it means 29% projects are completed which we have received okay now the thing is that two day project two day project is that project for example if you register a project two day it will show you in two days project in the recent projects you can able to see here recent five projects which we which you have registered in your database you can see here okay moreover you can add a new project by using this new project button or simply click on this plus icon so when you click on this plus icon as of now i will create a new project i just enter my details here ahmed b okay i will enter a client uh, email okay i just enter the email and i just enter the uh, phone number and select the currency okay usd and total amount is uh, 50 usdt okay now the paid amount is 30 and the total tax is about 5% and status is in progress okay now what's the due date i will deliver this project today because the client and mine deal is uh, the start date of project and the deliver date of project is same so i just select here same why i do this because i want to show you something okay now this is the url for example your client give you a requirements for your project you can simply add that for add their google sheet link or their google document link here so you can easily access out it later okay now the work url this is the file url which you have created in your google sheet and you will paste it in future when you want to get that particular client file you can simply come here and copy the file url and get easily check out delay reason okay right now it's not uh, uh, under our working uh, in some cases we are pending the a uh, status of the project so we can actually uh, change the date so we can add the delay reasons okay right now is in progress okay now here is the option email notifications you want to send email notifications to the client or not if you want you can simply click on yes if you don't want you can simply click on no okay now you can see here the project details 
So you can add the project details. You can see here the project. Okay. In additional notes, if you want to add the notes, you can easily add and click on the save project. So when you click on the save project, as of now, you can able to see here the project is going to be added successfully. And now the 22 projects here. Now, if in our email we have check here, new project is created. This is the username with the client name, and that this is their project ID, the project description, the total amount, the start or in due date. Okay, now that's perfect. When we go to our dashboard, in our dashboard section, we can easily able to see here. Okay, we can easily be able to see here the 22 projects we have, and the two days project registered is one now you can able to see here this is a new project and this is a due today okay we need to deliver it today so whenever you daily login in this portal you can able to see here due today project for example uh, this is a another project i just simply click on this edit icon or this i icon and just click on this in progress and select the date today okay when i select the date today and click on this save project so when I click on this save project, as of now, you can able to see here, the data is going to be successfully updated and it's loading the project. I am going to my dashboard. So when I go to my dashboard, as of now, you can able to see here, the total two projects I need to deliver it today. So in this way, you cannot able to miss any, uh, any client project, any deadline. Okay, for example, uh, you can see here, this is a due today. Uh, this is a client. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a client uh, due today. I just click on this edit icon. I have completed this project. Okay. Now I have completed this project and all thing. Okay. And click on this save project. So when I click on this save project, as of now, you can able to see here, the data is going to be successfully updated. And in the dashboard sections, the project is going to be the successfully delivered. So you can see here before that we have the due today two projects, but now we have delivered one project successfully. So you can see here this project is going to be delivered successfully and still I need to deliver one more project. So you can see here the progress overall progress is also updated. Okay. Now you can able to see in this way it is working in the chart section. You can see here the PKR. Okay. When you see the, the currency wise revenue trend in, uh, in PKR in USDT in INR in BTT. So you can see here the revenue trend in this particular currency. Now you can able to see here the total project completed is seven. Okay. Two, one is pending and one on hold and 13 is in progress. Is it 13? Yes, 13 is in progress. So you can also see. Okay. In the manage users, what we will do here. Okay, this is a uh, user phone number. Okay, when you click on this add new user, you can simply username, password, access level, limited full access means admin, and uh, this is the phone number and this is the role. Okay, what we need to do here in the dashboard, you can see, uh, for example, uh, the latest project Ahmed B. This is the Ahmed B. Okay, this is the Ahmed B, and I want to allow to the user one. Okay, what I need to do here, one thing I want to do here, this is the client phone number, which we have, uh, have, I just copy from my login, I just copy this phone number here, and paste it here, and click on this save project. So when I click on this save project, that particular project is going to be saved. Now, I just simply, uh, now I just simply uh, just log out from my dashboard from here, Okay, and click on this yes logout. Before logout, you can see here the all status uh, drop downs, the in progress, the pending, and the completed, and the on hold, and all currencies. You can also filter out that data. So when you log out that particular dashboard and click on this yes logout, and now you need to uh, log in as a user. So when you click on this uh, user details and uh, just uh, click on this sign in. So when you click on this sign in, as of now, you can able to see here. You are successfully logged in as a user. So this user has total three projects given to me and the today delivered, which we already uh, recently were delivered. The project is completed. So it's delivered. The clients that can see here the delivered project. So they can also see the email project is completed on the completion date. 
so now the project is completed so if you add so if, for example the admin uh, can add any deadline then the email automatically comes with the deadline i will show you that particular demo as well before that this is a manual button for refresh your dashboard statuses if the data is not going to be refreshed so this manual button you can use then if you don't want to use them you can simply click on this auto refresh you can also change that particular time for auto refresh okay so you can easily check out that okay now if you can also close this auto refresh button so you just click on this logout and click on this yes logout and enter the admin details and click on this sign in so when you click on this sign in as of now you can able to see here you are successfully logged in as a admin dashboard okay now one thing i want to show you uh, i will create a new project more okay uh, this is a new project ahmed and uh, this is the email id i wanna uh, add here this email id and uh, this is the particular contact number this is the country this is the currency this is the amount you can see here when you change the currency this sign will automatically change because uh, uh, because in our previous projects this is the issue which we have reported in comments so i am fixing this issues in my latest project okay the paid amount is 7000 or uh, 6000 okay now the tax is the 20 percent and status is in uh, pending and status is in pending state okay and the due date is uh, still today and the client file url yes send notifications you can add them and click on this save project so when you click on this save project as of now you can able to see here the loading project is done and when you we go to our dashboard so you can easily shown here the two days project is due and the due today is due and in the emails we have also received a new email that project is created and it's in this uh, pending state so why i created this project i just come here and uh, click on this edit icon and click on this view icon so you can see here i just select here the in progress and i will change the date to the 16 and click on this save project so when i click on this save project i will go to my email so you can see here it's saving and when i go to my email the email is comes so i just open this you can see here the original due date is this but the but the new due date for the project delivery is this and the reason is schedule adjustment you can add here you can see here uh, when you edit a particular icon in this delay reason so if you don't add anything it will automatically come schedule adjustment so in the setting sections you can also change your admin email send notifications yes or no okay so you can see here the mri project management system so let's all so in this way you can easily manage out your project management system hope you like this video you like this concept please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon thank you very much take care a lot